Hi guys, welcome back to Just Carve Rob in part three. I think it's part three. Of uh, the weirdo woods, the weirdo bird spirit guy, bird, bird spirit, bird spirit, wood spirit, wood bird spirit, whatever you want to call. Them. And uh, we're using, we're putting in an eyeball right now. I did the first one. And now I'm putting the second one in. And we're using the high speed air tool, the SCM high speed air tool to cut that eye in. And of course, it's out of focus. Okay, I zoomed in a little bit for you so you can see it. See it? There you go. This little tool, man, it's like, uh, it's like using a knife. As fast as it spins. It was so cold out th outside today. That I had to turn heat on. In the big shop. To warm up the air compressor enough to run. That's how cold it was. Right. So. I had to let the. Let the uh, 175,000 BTU salamander. Breathe fire all over the uh, air compressor to heat the uh, compression head up and up, the oil in it, so that it would stop kicking the breaker out. So that's pretty cold. When the oil gets that thick, it won't let that compressor head spin, guys. That's pretty cold. It's pretty cold out there. Okay, so now we have changed over to the small... Flame burr, football burr, whatever you want to call it. And we're rounding things up here. I'm going to start rounding that eyeball over. We got the knife. Got to shave that eyebrow up, up a little bit because uh, we went kind of deep up under there. And I want the eye to stand out a little bit more. So we just shave the eyebrow back. We had to do it on the other side too. It's uh, not a big thing. But remember, we started out these eyes with, uh, or the eyebrows, with just two downward angles. So that leaves you a lot of wood to remove down in the corners if you want to uh, do that. And we got the, uh, we got the uh, micro carver here with a diamond flame burr in it. And we're just uh, basically getting rid of all of the uh, undercut lines. And we're shaping the eyebrows down. Yep. And this uh, cottonwood bark is plugging this thing up again. So, I've been having problems with that. Uh, the cottonwood bark plugging up the uh, diamond burrs. But if, all, if you're just using a knife, I'll tell you what. You couldn't ask for a better uh, carving material than cottonwood bark. You just have to make sure you keep that knife sharp, right? And we're using the diamond to uh, also help round over that eyeball. And there's my hat. You like my hat? Yep, I had to get that close to it. To uh, Oh, there's my hat again. Hi, hat. What are you doing? Get out of there, hat. Hat, you don't belong in... Ah, uh, that hat. The hat's a ham, guys. It likes being in the being in the camera all the time. Uh, but that just shows you how close I had to get to this guy to uh, see what I was doing. I guess I should have put on my magnifying spectacles. The magnifying spectacles instead of my regular glasses. And we're just going to continue working that over. Smoothing things out with a diamond, undercutting them uh, eyebrows, get down in between the eyebrows. And like I said, uh, carving is the art of subtraction. So um, you just gotta fake it till you make it. You know what I'm saying? Just gotta keep removing wood till you get it where you want it. And we're using the diamond and we're just uh, smoothing out that forehead. We still got to put some age lines in the forehead yet and all that kind of good stuff. 
and uh, get all that worked around down there. Thanks for the comment, guys. The comments. I love the comments. I'll always answer the comments within a... I hope that I try to answer them within a day, right? Uh, sometimes it don't work out, but most of the time it does. So, what are we putting in there now, Rob? Well, we are putting in some of them uh, micro bits that you get from Harbor Freight. Uh, I did a review on these compared to the SCM High Speed Air Tool. Okay, uh, Kevin told me I was using them wrong. That they're not an actual carving bird, and they're not. What they actually are is a tiny drill bit. Carved by drill bit. Very small. This one here is probably uh, less than a 32nd in diameter. So break out your rulers, kids, and see what a 32nd is. So I think it's 32 thousandths. 32 thousandths. So that's like uh, 32 thousandths. Uh, human hair is 7 thousandths. So there you go. Math question for you. How many hairs are in 32 thousandths? Bum, bum, bum. Rob, we come to learn that to carve, not mathematics. Yeah, I know. But hey, every good channel always proposes a question and a riddle, right? So there it is for this one. I'm not saying we're a good channel, but we always have plenty of questions and riddles to go around. So anyway, uh, we're going to change that bit out. What that bit does is it really sharpens up those lines. And it works pretty good in cottonwood bark. Okay, so now we're changing over to uh, the ruby burr. 332nd shaft ruby burr, burr. That's why you see me stick that uh, collar collet reducer in there. It's one of the great things about this tool is it comes with that little collet re reducer. See, it plugged it up. I got to clean it. That little collet reducer. And on the uh, carving unit itself, there's uh, holes in it to put burrs. And I keep that little, uh, that collet reducer right in one of those holes. So, because Just Carve Rob loses everything. He lost his mind a long time ago. Haven't been able to find it. <laughs> yes, I lost, I lost it. My mind was too little and I let it out and it wandered away and I haven't found it since. So, all right. Uh, yeah. So anyway, back to the comments. Like the comments, guys. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. And remember to hit that like button. Smash that like button. It helps the channel out. In the aluminum algorithm. Helps me out in the algorithm deal for YouTube. So we're still uh, shaping this, these eyeballs around. A little later in the video, we're going to get down there and uh, start cutting that beard, that mustachio in. And, uh, now we have, I believe I put the carbide, yep, we're going to put a bag under this eye like we did the other one over there. So we're going to use this, uh, carbide flame burr. It's a small carbide flame burr. And we're cutting that in. Hi, Jordy. That was just Jordy that binged in, telling me he put a new, up. Oh, he's uploading a new video. We're going to have to watch that later. Thanks, Jordy. And, uh, yep, yeah, so we're using this, uh, little tiny, uh, carbide aluminum cutter style flame burr. Uh, this is not one that comes in the Amazon kit. I buy these from, uh, Mountain Wood Carvers. And they're, for what one, what this little burr here costs, I could buy 10 of those other ones. But I'll tell you what, it lasts a long time. Okay, so now we're, uh, cutting the mustache in. And we're using that uh, saber tooth straight burr in our Dremel 4000 with the flex shaft. Dremel 4000 with a flex shaft. And we're using the straight saber tooth burr to uh, basically sketch in this mustache. And that's what's going on here. Now I'm taking nice light cuts. Nice light cuts. 
can see one side the mustache is bigger than the other but we can always straighten that out by uh this is just the uh the basic cut here and believe me we're in pretty deep here and now we'll start removing the wood from under the mustache yo just gonna plane it away using this i probably should use the knife it would have been quicker because you can slide that knife right through this stuff and get right up in there and clean that up really really nice uh i did use the nice knife i had to take off a bunch of uh had to flatten that point out you know like i showed you earlier that this is uh i believe in part two that this is really triangle shaped you see that big flat spot i just took the knife and slid it right through there and just took slabs of wood off from there just slabbed it right down probably a good three eighths to a half of an inch we just planed it right off there with a OCC two and a half inch carving knife and we're going to cut the mustache down cut it down cut it down down don't bring me down saber tooth don't bring me down saber tooth don't bring me down 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 bow, 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 bow. okay i know you guys love my singing so you can see we're we're bringing that down as stated a moment ago and that's what that's what i really like about these straight burrs is that you can lay them down on their side and they work much like a knife as far as being able to keep something level and plain you know to keep it nice and flat and uh by using these straight burrs um i don't have to worry about the taper taking off too much wood so uh i use the straight saber tooth burr to delineate the mustache from the face or delineate it from the beard yep i haven't figured out what i'm going to do with the beard yet i may bring it down and have it swing to the left or swing to the right or just have it come straight down like his mustache is uh, but instead of hairs, I'm thinking feathers. Because he's like morphing into a, a spirit bird, right? So we might as well use uh, use the feathers. But my goodness, that's a lot of feathers. To come all the way from the top up there by the bird's head. All the way down to the bottom. That's a lot of feathers, guys. That we're talking, like, it's going to take a bazillion years to cut all them feathers in this guy. A bazillion of them bazillion years you know like big time Jordy's making off that tv show a bazillion gazillion dollars it's going to take me that long to cut all these mustache hairs in so if i could get a dollar for every minute that it takes to cut these mustache hairs in, i would be a gazillionaire i wouldn't need big time uh tv show from i got wood This thing just like it, it's really, it's something that's, I li really like this fur. It's all I can say about it, is I really like it. And, uh, you can go to Sabretooth and purchase them. If you so desire. And it's like Jordy always says, you know, you got that mustache set. And then when you feather it back, somehow it moves forward on you right i mean that's what always seems to happen to me it always seems so i gotta go back in and recut it now you're like man you got that must bat mustache split pretty wide well there's another surprise coming later on i'm not gonna tell you what it is I'm not gonna tell you right now but there's another surprise coming for you guys not good i'm not even gonna give you a clue what it is i'm just gonna let you find out by watching the video <laughs> and remember to hit that like button hit the like button make sure you hit the like button and uh if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to the channel all right all right right spike all right and we are getting buried in snow right now friends we gained two inches of snow in less than an hour and it's still coming down like a 
like a snow hurricane out there. Winds up about 40 miles an hour, they're saying on the news. So we're going to get some major snow drifts going on. Major snow drifts. Hope my old uh, truck can make it through them. I usually get a big snow drift between the garage and the house. Right down the middle there. So hopefully the, the truck will move it. But this snow is really wet too. It's really packy. Be good, good snow for making snowmen. If you like to make snowmen in the snow. Which I don't. I don't like going out and playing in the snow anymore. I got a friend. <laughs> he goes... Oh, man, it's supposed to be freezing cold for the next three days. And it is supposed to be single digits. And uh, he's like, I'm going ice fishing. I'm like, looking out there right now, I'm like, dude, you better you better have concrete anchored for that uh, ice fishing shelter. Or you're just going gonna to end up in Wisconsin the way that wind's blowing out there. All right, guys, uh, we're winding this one down. Part three, we're going to call this a done video. Okay, so hi to Anna, hi to uh, Peg, and hi to Jordy at Carbon Fusion. Hi, Ben, over there at Studio Lake, Calvin Carbs. You guys need to go check out Calvin, the youngster that he is, see what he's doing out there in Canada. And uh, check out I, I Can Carve, BAP, another great carver. He just set himself up a little shop inside the house out of a... It looks like an old tanning tent, but man, what a great idea to keep the dust out of the off the furniture and keep the wife from yelling at you about making the house all dusty. All right. All right. So you guys, uh, we will catch you on the next one. Share, subscribe, and like. Be awesome. Carve something awesome. Bye-bye.